えー、皆さんおはようございます。Good morning, everyone. Those who are watching this service over the internet, good morning. Hello and good evening. We give a title offering of all the offerings we have collected for the work of God outside of our church. Now let's give thanks to God for the tithe offering. We are going to have a church camp called Hakuba Camp in July. We have a digest movie from our last camp of last July. Let's watch this movie.
7月ですけども、えー、と24日は宵キャンプで27日まで白馬のキャンプが行われます。白馬のキャンプ、白馬キャンプ
I believe that God has put put special providence upon the fact that we we have this camp in the name called Hakuba. Hakuba means white horse, and white horse appears in the Book of Revelation uh, uh, two times. One uh, when that uh, Christ Jesus Christ we ride on a white horse at the time at the time of the latter rain revival and in the end time revival and at the end of the book of revelation Christ Jesus will return on a white horse God has a special purpose for this camp please come and join us uh, we are blessed that God has been bringing up young people uh, they God had God is making them grow through this camp. And we have the work of praise and worship. We have the work of movies. We ex we we experience special blessings of God in this camp. And from uh, October 29th to November the 10th, we we have a tour to Israel and this will be this will mark the beginning of our church year. Let's watch the movie of Last Israeli Tour.
Thank you. Uh, uh, many, many new things are happening through our yearly, yearly Israeli tour. God has given us a connection with the local Messianic congregation. And in the last outreach, we were able to meet our friends from Poland. God blesses special blessings upon Israel. We start our church year from Israel. Let's come and join us. The American Embassy will be relocated into Jerusalem. And now Iran is Israel are are fighting each other. So we never know when we will not be able to, when a situation will not allow us to go to Israel. But as far as we are able, we will we, we'll continue going there. Now let's watch one minute video about Apostles Creed.神様に対する信仰告白として最も古くから使徒信条を告白しています。私たち主の十字架クリスチャンセンターは聖書66巻を誤りない神の言葉と信じ、使徒信条のすべてを信じています。ちなみに信条という言葉はラテン語のクレド
And in the prison, he was given a Bible, and he was also given an evangelical, evangelistic tract. And after he finished his term in the prison, and he went out, and then he happened to see Pastor Sampomatsu and his wife doing a street live on the street. And he, saw, he thought, oh, that was a Christian music. That was Christian music, and he talked to them, and he came to church and, and became a member, and he got baptized yesterday. Let's give thanks to God for that. So we, uh, we'd like to give thanks to God. Let's give thanks to God because uh, he used to be in prison, but he got saved him now. And uh, I, I, let's give thanks to God that he, uh, our gospel music was used for his salvation. Uh, a long time ago, when I went on RH to the United States, I had a holy meeting in the United States, and I met a person, uh, an American guy, and he was he he ran he runs many uh, supermarkets in the United States, and he is rich. But he gave a testimony saying that he used to, he uh, committed a crime. He had committed a crime. He had killed a person, and he 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 had been in prison for a long time. But now he was a Christian, and you know God forgive forgave God forgives our sins. God forgave his sin. And now he God blesses this person as if he had never committed a sin. So we realize that how what a wonderful blessing and grace of God that's given us through the cross of Jesus. Let's give thanks to God. Well, recently, uh, whenever I attend a meeting and give a message, one thing I feel, uh, when I look at the audience, they look worried about me as I giving, give a message. They worry about my sickness. Thank you for your prayers for me. But I'm getting better. Thank, and I appreciate that but but in human terms i have had a hard time you know i took uh, three week days off because of my sickness but you know i had worked very hard before before that application and i had 30 day days off and i started to run Again, and I'm not really used to uh, this. I'm not really used to doing so much work. I'm not really used to it. Yet, please pray continually. Pray for me. And today we've opened Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. So it's my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire. And achieve for which uh, and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. And this talks about God's word. Oh, and uh, you know, God speaks to us. Of course, we need to weigh or examine it. But if it is really God who said that, God will bring it to pass for sure. In our lives. Uh, God's words are very important in our lives. And one thing I am noticing, realizing, is that in the First Corinthians chapter 40, verse 1 says, Pursue love and eagerly desire the spiritual gifts, especially the gift of prophesy. prophecy. You know, love is most important, and prophecy is also important, the Bible says. 
The Bible says love is most important, and together with love, prophecy is important too. Well, some people say, some people say that. Well, well, I, well, well. Excuse me, I. Before I explain to you that uh, love is most important, and prophecy is a little bit less important than that, but we need to pursue both of them. But I was wrong. Uh, the Bible says that both are very important, because in in the Gospel of John, uh, the f in the beginning of Gospel of John, it says, "Words are God." God is word, so prophecy uh, is also the word of God. It's God's word. Love is important, and also prophecy. Prophecy that means God's word. That is as important as love because word. Is the quality of God, the word word、uh, represents God's quality. So, so when I am going to、uh, publish,、uh, reprint my book on prophecy, I need to write, I need to change and write it again.、Um, James. Chapter、uh, James chapter one verse two says, "Consider well, maybe if you are watching this service over the internet, you can look at the monitor and see the verse." James chapter one verse two says, "Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds." This means. You know, we face trials, but the Bible tells us to consider it pure joy, because God prepares wonderful blessings after we go through those trials. So, if you are in trial, by exercise your faith. You will be able to receive something wonderful. You can expect God's spiritual blessings afterward. But you, when you are actually in trials, you think, "Why, um, why is God allowing that to me? Why do I have to go through this?" And but the Bible tells us to consider it pure joy. But when we look at reality, when we look at trial,、uh, we feel gloomy. We worry, and we are sad. So we respond by saying that we cannot be joyful. But when you are in trial, yes, you are depressed. You are in darkness. It's like you are in a dark room, but here the Bible says, "Here,、uh, it says that you are now in trial, and you need to persevere now, and you need to, you need to be, you need to persevere." But、uh, and we know that we are as if we are we were in a dark room. But how can we make it bright? We have to open a window and let light come in. You know, when we let light come in from outside, the room gets bright. So if you are in a trial, you need to bring light in. 
then what's the light? Light is God's. Light is God's word. If you are in a problem and you don't, you haven't had a solution. Uh, you you have you can have the word of God that says all things work together for your good when you love God. The Bible also says that one who trusts in God will never be put to shame. So if you have a problem that you you have been you can never solve, but if you trust in God, you'll never be put to shame. You can have that answer from God through the Word of God and that the victory of God. You can, you can, have, you can use the Word of God toward your difficulties. I am having a hard time I am troubled. I have a hard time. I'm sick. I suffer from spinal canal stenosis. God has given me word that he would heal me. And I received that word, but I really don't see the reality of my healing yet. yet. And I have, I have an, I, my legs are numb. And I also suffer from um, from the symptom of my neck falling down, and I uh, and that also I had a ingrained ingrained two two toenail. So I often go to the hospital. You know. The on Saturday of the week before the last, uh, we I went to have an op to the hospital to have an operation on my ingrated ingrated toenail, and I had the operation. And you know, the next day was Sunday. I ministered here, and on Monday I went to Hokuriku District for to hold holy meetings. I went back to Tokyo on Wednesday, and on Thursday I went to hospital, and I went to Hokuriku again on Friday, and people sympathize with me. When I confess by my faith, And people feel sorry for me. It's like a Japanese uh, uh, warrior who suffered from many uh, arrows sticking to, into his body. But I have sure hope because God has told me that he will heal me. And I know that God has a special plan through my sickness, and this applies to everyone. Everyone, God has a wonderful blessing prepared for you uh, through your trials. You know, I have had many sicknesses in my life, and I I've had God's blessings through those sicknesses. I, I'm able to see God's glory that He's going to manifest through my situation. If you are in a, in a difficulty and you feel like it's the end of your, it's end of the world. No, you, it's not the end of the world. If you have the word of God, because the word of God will bring it to pass as He tells you, and God's word is your victory. So God's word. You need to open a window for God's word to bring in. Don't uh, sleep in this. Don't fall in fall into a sleep, 
in discouragement in the dark room. You need to open a window and that light in and God is going to show and manifest His glory. You are able to see them in advance. You can expect what He's going to do for you. When I was in high school, excuse me, when my son was in high school, he was suspended and, uh, and we, he had a very hard time. But we knew uh, because we received words of God. He told me that uh, his work would start in his school. Because we received that word of God, things became, things were different now. And God's word is realized as he speaks to, to us. Uh, in the near future, our church is going to have an AI. You know, when you, you, you meet a robot that welcomes you in banks. So we will have a robot at the reception of a church. Don't mis mistreat him. And we are now strength strengthening the work of internet and the work of movies. The Lord is now uh, leading us into this direction using internet and movies. And that reminds me of one thing. In the very beginning, pioneering stage of a church, our church members were not so li nice people. They, they were not intelligent at all. But we received a word of prophecy saying that God would make this church uh, um, s smart church. And we laughed at that. Well, if those people who were who were at who were in our church at that time, uh, if they come to our church, they see you and they think that now the, the church people are so, so, so sophisticated. But what God meant by making this church sophisticated and smart means that God brings, God uses internet and movies and AI for his work in this church. So we are now seeing the fulfillment of God's word. God's word is leading us. His word. Uh, it's a blessing for us to stand on the word of God. When we stand on the word of God, we experience him. The word of God has very important meaning. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray for you to bless us. You want to decide on about something, but you can't because you don't have a confirmation. You need to receive God's word uh, for your confirmation. You come to God and you feel like God hasn't given you confirmation. But that's a deceit from Satan. You need to pray through so that you'll be able to confirm. Uh, s some people compare you with somebody else and you are hurt but uh, God has a purpose for you uh, in that situation. You gave up for God, but uh, you stopped it. You need to start it. Now let's pray for healing. Now let's have, let's have a time of repentance. Now let's pray for healing individually. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray 
and I command the spirit of sickness to leave us. I tell the spirit of sickness, leave us. I, we I command our bodies to be healed, be healed, be healed. In the name of Jesus, I confess health. You, ha you have bad gums, but you're healed. Your eyes are bad, but you're healed. Your nose and throat are bad, but you're healed. In the name of Jesus, I pray. And I, I declare healing. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. <laughs>